What's up guys, my name is Christopher aka Challard and today I'm going to show you how I play Claw pain free. It may not work for you, but it's the way I think people should probably try to take it off if they want to play Claw pain free. Before I get into it, let me explain exactly what Claw is, if you guys may not understand or know what it is. It's a style of holding the controller to where you can press ABXY or whatever the crap it is on PlayStation. And you don't have to take your thumb off the joystick. You see, in a traditional way of holding it, you have to take your thumb off the joystick to jump shot or to reload or to press Y or B, whatever those do, melee and switch weapons. But when you're playing Claw, you don't have to do this. Now, an alternative to being able to hit those buttons without playing Claw is buying a modified controller like a Scuff or a Xbox One Elite or a Cinch or whatever, whatever that is. And that's fine if you want to go that route, but something you need to think about is that all controllers will break eventually. I've been playing video games since I was like eight, and I don't know how many controllers I've gone through. And it's not because I get mad and spike them or anything. I, I keep my equipment very, you know, very maintained and well. It's just that when you when you use them a lot and you and you play a lot, you're they're going to wear down, especially the joysticks. And whether it's being pressing the button and running, I know a lot of people have that problem, or they just start moving on their own. And when you go to buy your a new controller when your one of yours breaks, do you want to buy a $60 controller and play Claw like you taught yourself how to? Or do you want to buy another $200 controller scuff? Okay, I started playing Claw Black Ops 3. I knew kind of how to in 360, but I had a scuff for 360 because you know all the cool kids buy scuffs. So I was like, hey, I figured I'd buy one. Kind of wish I didn't buy one because there really was no need to. I could have just played Claw. Um, but I started playing playing Claw Black Ops 3. And the reason is is because I did not play Advanced Warfare. So I wasn't used to the jetpack crap. I get into or the exosuits, excuse me. I get into Black Ops 3. Guys are jumping all over the place. I understand it's not as bad as this was in Advanced Warfare, but it's most well, definitely not Ghost, which was the last Call of Duty I played before Black Ops 3. You need to be able to press the A button, the jump button, without taking your thumbs off the joystick in this game. It is so crucial that you need to be able to do that. Jump shotting really wasn't that necessary in older Call of Duties, pre-exosuit Call of Duties. Because if you were accurate, you don't really need to jump shot. But in this game, you need to jump shot. You need to jump everywhere. Just to get across the freaking map, you need to jump. You got to be able to press this button without taking your thumb off the joystick so you can be in the air shooting. So when a lot of people go to take on playing Claw, they'll see a picture online, or they'll see someone else's video, and they'll start out by holding the controller like they normally would, and raking their index finger up here and putting their ring or your middle finger on the trigger. This is wrong for two reasons. One, it hurts. And two, when you go to press a button, any button, let's say it's a, a you know, like a laptop, like a keyboard or anything, are you pressing a button with the side of your finger? Like you are right here? No. Your finger's arched. And you're pressing a button like you naturally would. And that's what we're going to accomplish today while learn, teaching ourselves claws. We're going to accomplish keeping our finger arched and pressing the buttons. So, if you want to play claw the way I play, and, the, and I play pain-free, I've always played pain-free, there wasn't anything to get used to because I set into this endeavor saying I'm going to do this without any pain, try to do it as ergonomic as possible. First thing you need to do, take your hand off the controller. Your right hand, that is. Everything about your right hand will change. And I want you to do this right here. Hold your hand to the side. And put your index finger just a little more inside of these two. Now rotate your hand where your back of your hand is up a little bit more. If you can do this right here without anything hurting, just this. It's not that it's not that difficult at all. Do this right here without anything hurting. You can play claw. All right. Take your index finger, place it in between A, B, X, Y where you can pivot it. This is going to be your priority number one when it comes to holding the control in your right hand. Most people think the big priority is the joysticks, and it is when you're holding the controller like normal. But it's not going to be the case when you're holding it, when you're playing claw. Your, your number one priority is going to be your, your index finger. Step two. 
Take your ring finger, or your middle finger and your ring finger, middle finger bumper, ring finger trigger, and place them wherever it is comfortable for you while maintaining an arch in this finger. Key keyword is comfortable, not natural. It's going to be natural if you to hold the controller on the side like you would, but it might be more comfortable, more ergonomic for you to hold the controller with your hand pointed up a little more, which is how I do it. And your thumbstick, or the way you, you hold your thumb on the joystick, that's going to change also. Most likely, you're not going to be able to hold it like normal. Pre-claw, normal style, I manhandled the joystick. Post-claw, I, 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 for me, it's natural to hit the, or it's comfortable, not natural. It's comfortable for me to touch the southeast region of the joystick. And that's how I aim. Notice how my finger's arched. And let me try to get in the webcam. It's arched. It's kind of to the side, but it's still arched versus this right here. That is not very arched above the buttons, I should say. It's arched above the buttons. Not This is just like on the side, pressing the buttons like I'm, I'm a crab or something. You don't want to do that. When I have it to where you're pressing the buttons like you would press any button in your car or in your on your keyboard or whatever. And that's you would press the button like that, not that. This is how I play Claw. And it is completely pain-free for me. It might be a little bit different for you. You might have to rotate your hand more f further up to where you're just barely touching the trigger, which is fine. And, you're, and you can still hit the bumper, but you're in a more button-pressing position for your index finger, I guess I should say. I can't promise this method hurt working for everyone, but this is how I did it. My, my, now my number one priority when going into this wasn't maintaining any sort of like natural feeling that I had when I was holding this, when I was holding the controller like normal. It was doing it as ergonomic as possible and just forcing myself to learn to play that way. It took me about three days to get used to playing ABXY with my index finger. It didn't take that long at all, just three days. And it took about two weeks for me to get my accuracy back. Now, I don't think it'd take that long for y'all because one, I didn't play Xbox for the entire, you know, the, the entire um, Advanced Warfare year, whatever that is. Two, I'm kind of slow when it comes to adjusting my accuracy a lot. I think most people are much faster in improving their accuracy. I'm pretty slow at it. Pinky really doesn't matter, by the way. You can just, you can play out like that if you want to play it fancy. Or you can move your pinky in. It really doesn't matter. I keep it under there for support. But yeah, whatever feels natural, comfortable, I should say, not natural, whatever feels ergonomic, and your number one priority is keeping this finger in a button pressing position, arched over the buttons. Not arched like, not, not pressing them with the side of your finger. You want to actually press the buttons like you would any other button in the world. But yeah, that's how I play Claw, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you like the video and let me know what you think. I think I've already said that. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. We're going to be uploading a lot more uh, a lot more competitive gameplay. There's a crap ton of double stuff right now. But yeah. Let me know what you think. We'll catch you next time, YouTube.